Norman Vincent Peale said, The way to happiness is to keep your heart free from hate, your mind from worry. Live simple, expect little, give much. Scatter sunshine, forget self, think of others. Try this for a week and you'll be surprised. The power of positive thinking will show you that the roots of success lie in the mind and teach you how to believe in yourself. Break the habit of worrying and take control of your life by taking control of your thoughts and changing your attitude. Everyone should understand that positive thoughts and beliefs lead to a positive reality. Positive thinking and beliefs will take you on the positive path and also help you to achieve your desired goals and success. So let's begin with the power of positive thinking. 1. Believe in yourself. To start any work, starting it with self-confidence is the best option. People should have a belief in them that the work they are going to do will take them to their desired goals. And believe me, this belief will turn the work easier many a times. For example, maybe we have told ourselves a thousand times that we are going to start exercising, but we never do it. So how likely is it that we trust ourselves to start a new exercise program? Not very likely. So always trust yourself. Create the kind of self that you'll be happy to live with all your life. 2. Your attitude indicates your entire life. Your world is nothing more than the thoughts you have about your experience. All that a person is made to face are real problems and some take a lot of time to resolve. Like being in debt or a disease that mentally and physically weakens one. We can't do much about it, but the most we have control of is how we react and respond to the problems. The attitude we show indicates most of our will and character. Keeping calm can be the only option for many situations. For example, if a guy gets into an accident, he either can spend the rest of his life being scared of every object or act grateful for being able to survive. 3. Have constant energy. How we think and feel has a definite effect on how we actually feel physically. If your mind tells you that you are tired, then your body mechanism, your muscles will accept that as a fact. Hence, if your mind is intensely interested in something, then you'll do that work with your 100% focus. For example, you might want to deliver an amazing presentation that will impress your boss. Think about yourself walking up to the front of office and speaking with confidence and then receive a standing ovation. 4. Try Prayer Power Experts in physical health and well-being often utilize prayer in their therapy. Disability, tension and troubles can generate because of lack of inner harmony. And prayer shows remarkable results in restoring the harmonious functioning of body and soul. For example, many Christians do not drink or smoke, which contributes to their overall health. Yet those who pray are also less likely to exercise. Studies have shown that praying can have a similar effect on the heart to yoga. 5. Create your own happiness. Who decided whether you should be happy or not? Who decides what you deserve and what you don't? Then the answer for this is, it's you who decides for your own self. It's on us what we choose. Do we choose happiness? Or do we choose stress? Life is good if you make it good. Hence, always choose happiness for yourself. For example, as you must have noticed that children are more expert in happiness than adults. Because children choose happiness for themselves. They never allow negative energy to influence them. 6. Taking a break Modern life is hectic. And with its feverishly accelerated pace, emotional illness like stress can easily manifest. It's important to deal with these issues. For example, the author Norman Vincent used to take a break from job and recharge himself through music. While we all have real and pressing problems, we have the power to choose our response and create 
either a positive or negative feedback loop. 7. Faith Faith is a state of being in trust and in reliance on someone or something you know or understand to be trustworthy or reliable. We all have faith either in ourselves or in someone else or something. For example, I have faith in God. I have faith in myself. I have faith in some humans. I have faith in some things. I have faith in my wife. I know that she will always take good care of the kids when I'm away for some reason. She has faith in me that I'll always be faithful to her till I return home. 8. The power to solve personal problems You should have a belief that for every problem there's a solution. Always keep calm, tension block the flow of thought of power, the brain can't operate properly under stress. Never force your answer. Keep your mind relaxed and let the answer become clear and visible. Assemble all the facts impartially, impersonally and judicially. Two sales executives from the shoe industry were sent to explore a possible emerging market in Africa. Both were eager to seize any opportunities. A month later, each returned to report on their observations. Both executives noted that hardly anybody in the country they'd visited wore shoes. The first executive was frustrated at a wasted journey and reported that there was no demand for shoes and therefore no sales opportunity. The second, full of enthusiasm, reported that as virtually nobody wore shoes, there was a vast untapped market and they should start shipping shoes immediately. So friends, here are some of the ways how positive thinking change our life. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching.